This is going to be a solo edition of Riding Home. Dean Luggy talking to you now uh, with the breaking news that Vince Dooley has passed away. We got that email uh, at about 5 o'clock on Friday. Of course, uh, traveling down to Jacksonville right now. And I think it's, you know, Vince's life was way more than just being a football coach uh, or the athletic director at Georgia. Uh, the guy was a Marine. Um, there, were, there was a lot to him that uh, people didn't know about his uh, love of history, his, uh, botany, or uh, the love of plants and all these things. But he is most well known for his time at Georgia, the national championship he won in 1980 with the help of Herschel Walker. And um, I, the Vince Dooley that I knew is not the one that that is familiar to all of y'all that the, the man I knew uh, very brief, not in a huge way, but uh, the one that was around when I was around was uh, one of the best administrators uh, I can recall, frankly, in, 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 in the time that I've been in sports collegiately, whether you're talking about where I played in the SEC you know, certainly at Georgia, Vince was a, an extremely good administrator. I will say the thing that I remember the most about Vince Tooley personally was that he came to a class of ours when I was in graduate school at Georgia. And I went to the School of Public and International Affairs, but I took a course in the sports, I can't remember what it's called, sports whatever the graduate school for sports mark uh, business and Vince was there and so Michael Adams came to as well a couple of weeks later I've never seen someone more organized for something than when Vince came to our class and just slowly went through like it was a stack of folders over and over and over and over again and that day he talked about how he felt like Jim Donnan deserved another year at Georgia. Uh, that didn't happen. But, uh, and Mark Richt was uh, there. And, and Vince told us this, right, you know, right after G Jim had gotten fired, actually. This was in February or March. He was uh, the athletic director when I started covering Georgia. Uh, he's probably going to go down as Georgia's greatest athletic director ever. Um, I don't know if he'll go down as the greatest football coach in Georgia history, but I'll tell you this. I, traveling down to Jacksonville, it, it makes me think of Vince's time as the coach at Georgia. And a lot of old timers will tell you that Vince's teams when, went down to Jacksonville and dug out a win. And they just figured out how to do it. And whether you're talking about, you know, the most memorable one is 1980. But a year later, in 1981, they had to dig that one out for sure. Uh, 1975, if I'm not mistaken, with Appleby to Washington. You know, Vince set things in motion with some either extremely good hires at the start of his tenure as athletic director or some very fortunate hires, one of the two. Because he, had, he hired Andy Landers, he hired Jack Bowerly, who was a swimming coach forever, and he, had, and he hired Suzanne Yachman soon thereafter, or, or all at the same time. And those guys won like crazy. That group won like crazy at Georgia. National championships here, national championships there, conference championships all over the place. That was a, an elite trio that were coaches at Georgia forever. And, um, you know, People always, when when folks pass, they talk about the good. I don't I don't know a lot of the bad with Vince. I know that there was uh, this the back and forth with Michael Adams. Um, that should not have been handled that way. One of the two of them, if not both, should have you know figured out how to make that work better uh, in terms of combination of things in the finance side of, of the fundraising. Uh, I, you know, one one thing about Vince too, because 
I covered Georgia um, when it was his final year as athletic director in 2003. And um, that year, when we went around the league, everybody had a gift for Vince for his time. And it showed to me just how much everybody in the league thought of him. They, they really felt like uh, he was, you know, he was really important, not just to Georgia, but to the SEC. Um, and he was an extremely important person in uh, football coaching world. Kirby just released a statement saying that his family is heartbroken by the loss. Uh, there's that iconic image. I actually don't know who took it, but um, I was not, I was running around with my head cut off on the national championship, but two of Georgia's three national championship coaches, the two that were living, uh, embracing after the national championship game when Georgia defeated Alabama, it just comes to mind to me too that one of Vince's biggest wins was over Bear Bryant in 2000, uh, excuse me, in 1976. It was an amazing win for Georgia over the tide in Athens. I, I don't remember if Alabama was defending champions, but uh, Georgia went on to win the SEC in 76 and go play in the Sugar Bowl the first time that the league had that tie-in. But Ben Stooley was a legend. Um, and he was... I, when I interviewed him, I did a story on Vince in, uh, I can't remember when it was, maybe three or four or five, and I'm going to publish that over on Dog Post, but uh, he couldn't have been more gracious with his time. I know he was busy. Uh, his time as athletic director was wrapping up, and my career was just starting, and he was very good uh, making accommodating me and making time, but uh, Georgia's... Uh, National championship winning coach Vince Dooley has passed uh, in Athens, and uh, it's very sad. So, thinking about the Dooleys today, Derek and uh, all of his brothers and sisters, and, and of course his mother, as Vince Dooley passes.